What's going on, lads, and welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, what I've got for you is a, it's not really a hybrid because there's only two leagues, but it's a Premier League slash Chinese Super League. Uh, really cool looking team, and it's a team I want to use when FIFA 19 drops. This was all made on Photoshop, like most of my squad builders. Sadly, I was not invited to the capture event, so I couldn't get footage like this for you guys. But I did make this on Photoshop, and hopefully you guys do enjoy. There might be a mistake here or there, or maybe there's a, uh, a wrong link, or maybe there's like a uh, something out of place. So I do apologize. I've done my best to make this look as realistic and as good as possible. Hopefully you guys do enjoy it though. I'm super hyped for FIFA 19 and uh, I think the full database drops really soon as today's the Wednesday the 12th, which means that the embargo lifts a couple hours after this video go live actually. So we will see a bunch of the ratings from that anyway from the capture event, which is pretty cool. So uh, make sure you're staying tuned on the Game Changer YouTube channels for that because there's loads of them. Um, so yeah, let's jump straight into it. Now, uh, we're obviously with a 4-3-3-4. This formation was one of my favorite formations back in FIFA 18. I used to use it all the time. Um, it just seems perfect for my attacking style of play. Uh, the cam works really well with the, uh, with the wingers and the striker and it just worked really how I used to play FIFA or how I do play FIFA. So this is a team that I wanted to use again for, um, oh, so this is the rating, uh, the, not the rating, the formation. There we go. It's, it's late. I'm tired. Um, this is the formation I did want to use again for FIFA 19. So let's jump now into in it. goal, we have got Pickford. He is actually, I believe, confirmed with an 83 rating. Uh, most of these, if not all of them, are confirmed ratings from the capture event. Uh, now, EA sometimes change ratings by one or two between the capture event and the full game. It's unlikely but not impossible so don't take all of these to be 100% confirmed just wait until the full game releases but they will be pretty similar if not 100% so this is the uh, the Pickford card I went with now he actually looks like he's going to be a solid goalkeeper in FIFA 19 um, so I do want to try him out a lot and uh, I really do like Pickford I, I like him obviously for the World Cup I thought he played really really well and uh, he plays well for Everton so I'm excited to use him in FIFA 19 and I thought we'd go for him as a go-to go, a go -to goalkeeper because you know he gets a ton of different links which is really cool um, and all in all, he just looks like a really good card. Now, the two centre-backs are David Luiz and Davison Sanchez. David Luiz looks decent. Now, he's had a bit of a pace downgrade. I think he has 68 or 69 pace. Uh, so, it doesn't look amazing. However, he's really tall and great at winning the ball. So, I thought I'd put him in there. He also has decent dribbling and decent passing. So, he's more like he's better than Davison Sanchez in the sense that he's good at dribbling and passing the ball out of defence. And then Davison Sanchez, of course, has like 76 pace, 84 defending, 81 or 82 physical. Um, uh, he's a lot better at uh, tackling the ball, chasing people down and using his physical to barge people off the ball, for example. So I think that defensive partnership will work really well. And of course, David Luiz gets a link over to the right side, which you guys will see in just a second. Um, and Davison Sanchez just looks like an absolute beast this year. Now, if I was to price predict these three players right here, I think Pickford would be around, you know, eight to twelve thousand coins roughly somewhere like that i think that with the big boost he'll go up in price a lot but i don't think he'll be you know too expensive because there's a lot of good goalies this year i think david louise is always quite expensive i predict him around 15 to twenty thousand coins maybe uh maybe a little bit less now with the pace downgrade but i can't see him being less than ten thousand coins 100 percent and then davidson sanchez i think he'll be about 30 to forty thousand coins i can see his price matching the likes of buy last year with you know such similar similar stats there to buy his last year card so so I think he'll be about 30, 40,000 coins, maybe something like that. Could even be a bit more. Um, so it's not the cheapest of teams, but it's a decent looking team nonetheless. Now, I thought I'd just go with the uh, the fullbacks and the midfielders all in one go. We've got Raphael, Holobas, Deli Ali, and Anderson Taliska. Now, if I was to predict a price for the left back and right back, I can see them both being about 1,000 to 2,000 coins. Holobas is always looking OP every year. Uh, so I decided to use him as a left back. And Raphael is one of the better Brazilian uh, right backs this year. Now, we haven't seen in the full Chinese Super League. There might be some better Brazilian right backs or there just might be some better Brazilian right backs in any league in general. Um, but he looked decent so I thought I'd uh, throw him in there. You know, he has decent 80-something uh, pace, uh, high 70s in defending and physical so I thought I'd throw him in there. Dele Alli looks incredible as well. The 84 rated card looks really, really good and I'm excited to use him in FIFA 19. And Anderson Taliska looks like an absolute beast. He, of course, gets a link with the uh, the right winger, the cam. Um, and then Dele Alli gets a link with the left winger as well which you'll see in just a second. And you probably already know who they are from like the thumbnail and the title and whatnot, but yeah, they look really, really good. So I'm excited to uh, to use these cards. Um, if I was to give a price prediction for Deli Ali, I think he'll probably match similar to his last year price. 
uh, thirty to fifty thousand coins, maybe something like that, can can definitely be a a price for Deli Ali. If I was to predict Taliska's price, I'd probably put it around fifteen to twenty thousand coins. It depends how uh, overpriced the Chinese Super League will be this year. A lot of returning players in a decent league means that it will be quite hefty with a price tag. Uh, but I think that it will level out pretty soon because obviously it's not the best of leagues, so um, it's difficult sometimes to link all of these players. So I think it will genuinely level out pretty quickly. But I think that it will be quite overpriced at the start and I can see Taliska being one of those players that's really high priced because his card looks really good this year. At count we have got Jonathan Vieira. This guy had a team of the season card. I think it was FIFA 17 and it was an incredible card. It was really, really good and I really enjoyed it. Um, and he's going to have an 82 rated cam card in FIFA 19 and I'm super excited to try it out. Uh, I believe we'll have four star, four star as well. He has decent stats. You know, he has mid to high 80s pace. He has uh, low 80s to mid 80s uh, dribbling. He has high 70s shooting, uh, low to mid 80 passing. Uh, I think he has low 70 uh, uh, physical as well he gets a link as well with a striker which is great um and he just look, looks like a decent card and uh, i really wanted to use a striker so i thought that i'd stick that uh i'd stick jonathan vieira in there and uh, and would use a striker of choice so he looks decent and it looks like a really decent midfield. If I was to predict his price, about five to 10,000 coins, I could predict it being. Um, I don't think it'd be any more than that. However, it, you know, it, it could well be. It depends how, you know, how much people really desire the Chinese Super League. But it's a decent card. The wing is now on the right. We have got Hulk returning absolute beast. Now, I've seen his in-game stats and he's got like 92 in-game strength. But I think he's only got 81 pace, 80-something shooting and 80-something dribbling on his base card with like 88 physical. It doesn't look horrendous at all, but you know, the big pace downgrade kind of puts a lot of people off. I don't think it'll put me off though. I really want to use this card and I'm super excited for him to be back. On the left, we've got Hyung Min Son who looks incredibly OP. He looks absolutely amazing. His card looks fantastic. Four star skills, five star weak foot, of course, as well. And he just looks like an absolute monster. Super excited to use Son and I think they'll work really well. Now, Hulk's price, I can see being 30,000 coins plus. I think he'll be very overpriced for the first week of FIFA because people will want to use him again. Um, it could well be about 20k, but I think that honestly he will get pushed over to that 30,000 coin mark just because he's so hyped up and he's returning and people want to use him. I think that that will be his price. And Hyung Min Son, I think it'll be about 30 to 40,000 coins as well. Uh, Hyung Min Son's a beast every year, and I think people will really want to use and get their hands on Hyung Min Son like straight away. So I think it'll be pretty expensive first day, first week of FIFA. Um, so yeah, that's my price prediction for Hyung Min Son. This guy's not been hyped at all, I feel like. It's Bakambu. Bakambu's returning of course playing for the same team as Jonathan Vieira now I don't even want to try and say what team it is because I genuinely can't remember the name of the team so I don't want to even try it uh, however he looks like a really good card really good pace and dribbling good uh, physical as well in decent uh, dribbling John, uh, Jonathan Vieira. Bakambu was an incredible card back in FIFA 17. He was unbelievable. He had some great informs. He had some really good like base card stats and he was just super OP in the La Liga. So I think with him returning and getting a good link there with Jonathan Vieira, I'm super excited to try this card out and I'm really glad that he's returning because he was an absolute beast in FIFA 17. And I really don't think that people have hyped him enough. Like I think that there's a lot more hype to be had for Jonathan Vieira. Uh, I keep saying Jonathan Vieira for Bakambu. Uh, if I was to predict his price it'd be probably be around 10 to 20 thousand coins people see really really how pacey he is uh that makes no sense at all really really how pacey is people see how really really pacey he is and uh, i think that his price will definitely go up because of it so this is what the team looks like if you guys do want to try out a team like this let me know down below let me know what kind of team you want to see next this was heavily requested on the last squad battle video thank you for watching lads i'm super excited for fifa 19 and i hope you guys are too and i'll see you lads later